What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Charting Crypto. Today we're over Cryptic Finance or CTX, which is up 2.8% at $5.25. Has a very, very small market cap of only $30 million with a circulating supply of 5.7 million out of 10 million. So 57% of the coins are in circulation. I love coins with this type of setup. And what I mean by that is the small market cap with the small circulating and max supply. So the most that can ever be is 10 million, which is great. Um, it means they can't dilute the market by dropping billions and billions of coins in circulation. The circulating supply is only 5.7 million right now, so very, very limited. I'm guessing if this was around last bull run, the all-time high was pretty high. Yeah, let's see, all-time high was $44.13. All-time low is five months ago at $0.79. Cents. This coin is currently available on the following exchanges, Coinbase, Gemini, and HTX. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on CTX. All right, ladies and gentlemen, CTX broke out of its downtrend. It has had a downtrend since it got on Coinbase. It got on Coinbase on September or January 2022, and that was the top there, guys. Whenever anything gets listed on Coinbase, not financial advice, just personal preference or uh, experience, anytime anything gets listed on Coinbase or Binance, it's a top signal. And this retraced for multiple years until we finally got a bottom in October 2023. So top to the bottom right here on the fibs, we can see we are above the 618. So we are we are currently bullish. We are in our bull market for this coin, but we are having a difficult time getting over that 786 at around $6.70, 75 cents. MACD, MACD is losing this bullish momentum. We've been bearish the last two days. We have the RSI double topping. Well, not double topping, but the RSI flashing red two times saying, hey, it might be a good time to take some profit, dummy. Uh, when it flashes red like that and we're starting to see a retracement on the rsi macd did get a or wtx did get a sell signal today off the chart the highest we've ever been so i would take that into consideration guys you got a sell signal on the 12th of march and then you just got one today uh, off the charts over 100. so if we are going to be experiencing a retracement, we're probably going back down to around four dollars and 17 cents like i mentioned at the beginning i love the small circulating supply and small market cap but with a small circulating supply and a small market cap can come big swings. One big buy can move the market on small coins like that. So I would be looking for a drop probably back down to around four bucks. I know that sounds disgusting from where we're currently at. That's approximately an 18% drop, 18, 19%. But we've been bullish since March 24th, guys. We've been putting in a high, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high. And then going back down to that 618 would actually be a higher low, which in turn, you'd probably see a reversal off of and head back up to that all-time high or to the 1618 or one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, six area. So I would be keeping an eye on a slight bearish movement for cryptic finance right now. It does look bearish four hour chart. Yeah. Four hour charts just, just confirming that bearishness. Um, if we do draw the uptrend support, boom, boom, boom. This is your hopium for the day. Hopefully this uptrend support holds. It does look like we saw a bounce off of it. So we have to stay above four dollars and it looks like 485 we have to stay above 45 to be bullish we break below 45 we're heading down to four bucks but short term time frame is not looking absolutely horrible i guess uh but in my personal opinion the way that the market's looking right now and bitcoin starting to see a retracement i wouldn't i would not knock or i would not knock you know 425 to four dollars as a retracement until we rally to the upside now for the bull run for the bull run, let's see what, what we can see, what we can uh, kind of uh, assess here for the bull run top. So the bull run top, this is accurate. I would say about 85 to 90% of the time I've back tested it on a lot of charts and I've been around for a while. So normally if you draw your FIB from the all time high to the, or not all time high from your prior bull run high to your bear market low, as long as they didn't put more coins in circulation, like as long as they didn't put millions or billions of billions of coins in circulation during this downtrend, Normally, you run up to the one, two, three, six area during your bull run top and then briefly enter the no man's land between the one, two, three, six, and one, six, one, eight. So, for the bull run top, I'd be keeping it a close eye on 25 bucks. And then, if we get over 25 bucks, you know, that's just bonus money right there with the one, six, one, eight going all the way up to 78. You know, you really can't assess or really can't do a TA on parabolic phase of the bull run, guys. If you've never experienced the parabolic phase of the bull run, 
it is euphoric af like for real there's no drug that <laughs> that makes you feel that good i swear uh but keep an eye on the one two three six area at around 125 for the blow off top and then we could we could enter this area here uh once we get into the parabolic phase but short term right now i do think we're heading back down to the 618 at around 425 four bucks and then we can start rallying out after that so with that, none of this is financial advice. And if you have any coins you'd like me to chart, you can just send me a super chat in the comments and I'll get to your coin as soon as possible. Thank you.